Here's the latest on Tesla's Cybertruck. Some lucky buyers have already got their hands on the new Cybertruck, and according to Elon Musk's recent tweet, Cybertruck buyers will have the option to buy a mod package that'll turn the truck into an amphibious vehicle. The mod includes upgrades to its cabin door seals that'll allow the Cybertruck to cross at least 330 feet of water. Elon has been teasing fans with this perk for quite some time now, tweeting back in 2022 that the truck is waterproof enough to serve briefly as a boat so it can cross rivers, lakes, and coastlines that aren't too choppy. But now, Musk's ambitions could have Cybertruck fans around the world treating lakes like roads or easy ways to escape traffic. So even though we may finally get our chance to live our James Bond DeLorean fantasy, Reality is probably going to look like your cousin Billy knocking back a few cold ones while he fishes for trout. Although amphibious trucks are not new, an amphibious, electric, bulletproof truck with self-driving features is. So why hasn't this gone viral yet? I don't know, but the list of perks Tesla keeps adding to the Cybertruck is starting to make the competition look a little bit dated. Turning our sights to the stars now, NASA's gearing up for 2024 with an impressive space trailer fit for the Avengers, presenting over 15 ambitious missions and events planned over the next year alone. These missions include a various array of rovers, satellites, telescopes, aircraft, and spacesuits currently in development and highlights new plans like the Viper mission to explore the lunar surface for ice water within the moon's south pole and the Europa Clipper mission to study Jupiter's moon Europa. Another big event NASA has planned for 2024 is bigger loads. <laughs> yeah, boy. American companies will be capable of transporting payloads to the moon for the first time. One small step for man, one giant leap for corporations. But that's not all. The trailer also mentions NASA's ongoing work with the Orion spacecraft and the SLS Mega Moon Rocket, proving that even in space, we believe in the philosophy, go big or go home, or in this case, go big and then go to the moon. I'm referring here to the Artemis II mission, which includes a flyby of the moon. This upcoming four-person expedition will be the first crewed mission beyond low Earth orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972. Now, let's take a quick detour from the stars back down to Earth's skies for a fun story for a squad of over 1,400 quadcopters that took flight in Texas last year. Pulling off a record-breaking light show, mesmerizing the Texas crowd at Birdsville's football stadium this past December. The show kicked off with a colossal 700-foot Christmas tree with a drizzle of snowfall, then morphed into a massive nutcracker battling the Rat King mid-air. Other holiday-related shapes included Santa and an amazing candy cane wonderland, an elf and a dancing ballerina. This holiday spectacle earned Sky Elements not one, but two Guinness World Records. One for the largest fictional character made with lighted drones, and another for the largest aerial image made via quadcopters. Of course, assembling drone ballets on such a grand scale still comes with risks. One wrong signal and their robo-dancers can start dropping from the sky. But with improved tech and choreography, magical moving light displays like this look to replace loud and dangerous firework shows. And I'd say a towering pixelated tree floating in the night sky is just as stunning. Coming up, you may have heard news of murder robots bent on wreaking havoc at one of Tesla's factories, injuring one of its workers. And to that, we say, <laughs> Skynet isn't here yet, thankfully. But the media will leave you wondering with how they portrayed what actually happened. The engineer involved was unexpectedly pinned to the floor by the machine while trying to update the robotic arm's software. The robot's claw dug into the worker's back and arm, leaving him with an open wound on his left hand. Not exactly the AI uprising the media portrayed, but the incident did leave the worker bleeding profusely with injuries along his back and arm. Co-workers watched in shock as he wrestled free and tumbled down a slide. It does appear that safety issues are common at their Texas plant. The factory's high accident rates top the rest of the auto industry. But no, robots haven't turned on their human overlords in this case. Tesla admits, however, that there's countless hazards for workers on a assembly lines. Now on to robots with hopefully better bedside manner than the Tesla bots. 
the care pods, also known as the doctor's office of the future. For just 99 bucks a month, you too can have access to the care pod, a self-service medical pod with advanced AI. Just walk right in whenever you have a healthcare concern. It'll start by asking you about symptoms and medical history. Then advanced sensors will take measurements like temperature, blood pressure, heart rate, all that jazz. The AI doctor will then make a diagnosis, recommend treatment, prescribe medication, or send referrals if needed. Now, trusting your health to a robot might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but the creators swear the AI is just as qualified as a real-life doctor. Like your own personal doctor house, minus the sarcastic remarks. But only time will tell. It may make basic healthcare advice way more accessible and affordable. No long waiting list, no awkward gowns, no crazy medical bills, though I may miss scrolling through the memes on my phone in the waiting room. Shifting gears from robotic doctors to AI assistants, Microsoft's newly released Copilot app just launched on Android and iOS. This newly developed app packs a number of integrated features. For programmers, this app acts as your personal coding sidekick, giving you AI-powered suggestions while you type. Essentially, it functions as a coding wizard right in your hand ensuring your syntax game is always on point. But Copilot isn't just for the coders out there. Let's say you need to shoot off an email or whip up a quick document on the fly. Copilot gives you suggestions for phrases, sentence structures, and even entire paragraphs. The app can generate explained complex topics and much more. And for the creatives, imagine transforming your words into stunning visuals with Dolly 3's image creation magic. But here's the cherry on top. Copilot throws in free access to the ChatGPT model version for enhancing your text with next level natural language processing. Whether you're a coding guru or just love staying ahead of the latest tech, which you should follow us for by the way, Microsoft's Copilot app is shaking up the AI scene, making your mobile experience smarter than ever. Changing the game in city development, our last destination is Praxis, a secretive techno paradise supposedly under construction somewhere along the Mediterranean coast by finance turned tech duo Dryden Brown and Charlie Callanan. They're aggressively recruiting members to develop their own tech utopia and they've managed to get investors like Peter Thiel to make it happen. But here's the thing, when potential recruits asked practical questions at a recent event, things got cagey real quick. Turns out, details about crime prevention, schools, governance are all total secrets. And the plot thickens. After too many questions, they really tightened up on who gets the invite for this exclusive club. By the way, if you manage to score a golden ticket into Praxis, you get a steel visa, the planned city's version of an official immigration document. So Praxis seems stuck between dreaming big about becoming a utopia and the tough reality of actually building a city, a whole city, from scratch. Will this exclusive society actually come together or will it crumble under all that secrecy. I guess we'll find out if this techno oasis ever fully materializes out of their cloud castles in the sky. For more tech news and gadgets, subscribe now.